Alright, there is another chest somewhere that I just... I know we could have gotten. I just couldn't quite figure it out, and I got frustrated. I just left it. And at this point, it might not even have anything that we really care about, because it's just a coffin chest. Yeah, this right here. So, apparently... This is like one of the most bullshit ones in the game. Because you just have to hit like a specific... You have to stand in a specific spot. And then throw at a specific spot. And it's sort of a thing you would never actually guess to try. Jesus, it's so hard to like get it to be accurate on the return, you know? Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well, worked beautifully that time. I guess that's not the spot I was standing in last time. I don't know. Doesn't matter, man. Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, it was great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day, and she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't feel great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. I was gonna head over that way, and then I remembered there's a Berserker over here. Now, I'm not saying that I'm definitely gonna do it, right now, but I am going to see how difficult he is. If he's way above my level, or otherwise has some other kind of bullshit going on, like two of them in one fight <laughs> that are way above my level, then no. <laughs> I'll be good. A gravestone. No doubt a berserker awaits. But let's check it out. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man! Three? Three of them? Why does there need to be three of them? Oh my god. Yeah, it's so cool for you that you get to have... God, infinite frost status affliction. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's not going to be the best attack to use. <laughs> in that fight. But I can catch two of them in that. But then a third one is just there to be like, Hey, fuck you. Eh. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, well, let's, let's try one more time, I guess. <laughs> I mean, at least they don't have skulls. Oh my god, look how... Look how bullshit that is, man. Oh. Yeah. That's just a massive area of effect frost status that slows the shit out of you. And then this guy's raining fireballs on you. 
and then this guy's hitting you with super strong melee attacks while you're frozen. <laughs> that's just... That's a fucking nightmare, man. And they are all still one level above me. I gotta at least be on the same level as them before I can actually attempt that. I'm sorry. If it was just two of them, maybe. Maybe I would sit here and try and grind that out. But three of them above my level? No. Eat shit. <laughs> we'll come back when I'm level nine or something. One thing I'm actually not sure about. What else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Adia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Great. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? How would they care what happens in the barrens? When we were in Vanaheim, Big Bear and Bela spoke of this place. They said it was forbidden. Went on about uncovering some secret history. Secret history? Sounds like your kind of adventure. Aye, that's what I said. Another storm awaits. Yeah, but at least now we know how to end it. Mankey! There we go. It's just that easy. Oh. I also realize we've upgraded the axe, which means we have a couple new skills in here to buy. And I literally mean a couple. Hold triangle while recalling the axe to quickly activate Frost Awaken. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. And then extend Pride of the Frost with additional slams by pressing R2, R2. Yeah, we'll have to get used to using that for sure. So I've got all these new axe combos. That's the switch stance first one. That is a really cool attack. It seems kind of impractical in actual combat. Because <laughs> it takes so long to actually do this. And, you know, all that time you're going to have a bunch of other dudes just kicking the shit out of you. And then there's... Damn, that is cool. That might be a bit more practical because you can kind of keep your distance with that. Okay, I was trying to do the combo there. How does that work again? R1, R1, R2 to perform. Oh, that's right. I didn't actually buy this one yet. That's why I couldn't do the extra ones. Right. Fair enough. Wait, stop. <laughs> Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. <laughs> I mean, not yet. <laughs> what do you mean, not yet? <laughs> I'm gonna start a competition. Because I think I can win. Well, Trey has fought an actual giant. Which is pretty large, but probably not as large as like the Hydra from God of War One, so, or Zeus. Once free both Hofgufas and end all the storms. Then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hofgufa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. But, well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low. And you'll never be disappointed? Wise words. <laughs> yeah. Just like MJ was saying in that new Spider-Man movie. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. We gotta find the right cave. Yeah, I guess we should probably do that first. That way we can clear up the storm and have access to all the chests that are buried right now, right? There's the other half Koopa. Under all that hive. Okay, yeah, it looks like we found it. I'm actually going to go hit this raven, since I see him right here. What the hell's that noise? 
wonder if there's like an actual large creature out here. Whatevs. Or it could be something below us making noise, too. Alright, how are we going to get inside this thing? It's just a matter of running around the circumference. Probably should have brought the sled for this, but well, it's too late now. Now you're all stuck watching me run around in a giant circle like an idiot. Now I'm starting to fear this isn't even going to pay off. Okay. Well, that's disheartening. Where'd my sled go? Where'd my companions go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Alright, we will find another way. Because that is obviously not going to work. Uh, pretty sure there's a Korok hidden here. Can't fool me. I know what those Korok puzzles look like. I'm gonna try and follow the side quest marker, which is pushing me up here. Oh, the Raven! Hold on. Yay! There's a mini realm tear. Here's something. Hmm. Look at that statue. That's pretty. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. Okay, cool. It actually brought us to where we we're supposed to go, I think. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. Absolutely. No. What do you mean, no? Come on, Kratos. <laughs> you joyless bastard. <laughs> bracelet. A rather lovely piece of jewelry, crafted by one of Freyr's Light Elf supporters. It seems to be a bracelet, hand-formed to fit Freyr's wrist, which introduces the question, why was it discarded? Was Freyr so inundated with gifts and jewelry that he simply couldn't find a place for it? Or did he perhaps wear it for a time, only to cast it off, possibly in danger or shame or some combination of the two, once he sped back to Vanaheim to stop Freya's wedding? Hmm. Could be. We probably won't know until we ask him. <gasps> Anger management. What is that for? Chest punched. Hey, we've completed the chest punch labor. All these commoners thinking they're all fancy with their fancy chest, with their fancy wood and their fancy treasures inside. You know what I say? Punch the shit out of that chest. <laughs> Yes. Always punch chess. Search for clues about elven history. Is this elven history? Now it's not anybody's history. archive of knowledge. Don't see any light elves around. For now. 
Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. Yeah, something tells me that's not going to be the case. I was actually just about to ask how many elves you guys think we're going to have to fight in here. These rooms. Rules of the Sanctum. All visitors must observe strict silence inside the library, even in the vestibule, passageway, grand hall, mezzanine, and upper circle. No books are to leave the premises for any reason under penalty of death. Transcriptions of any material within the library are expressly forbidden. Damage to library materials due to carelessness, including creases, folds, annotations, and such like, even accidental, will not be tolerated. Combustibles, libations, and liquids of any kind are forbidden. Visitors must check in with the president librarian before leaving the library. Failure to adhere to the rules will result in immediate punishment to be determined by the president librarian. Okay, some of these are reasonable. Some of them are not. Like the no transcription? Like, fuck you, man. I think you're missing the point of the library is to spread knowledge. Telling me the only way I can take knowledge out of here is to remember it? My memory's not that good. Another one of Diwali's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves. So he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. Well, it's too bad for him. An examination of temporal significance. This evening I find myself musing on the scent of a book. When the paper is fresh, it carries the gentle notes of the plants it came from. Light, floral, with a touch of sweetness. As time passes, the pages age. They take on their brittle tan. A tear forms from any force stronger than the softest of touches. The scent hardens. Crisp at the beginning, moving into the earthy musk left behind from dust, desert, air, and insect feasts. To these ephemera, nearly as impermanent as ourselves, do we entrust the collective knowledge of our elven histories? Is this venture foolish? I concede the fleeting nature of existence, be it of flesh or scroll, and I would not trade the pleasure of putting ink to page for all the treasures of Alfheim. The console. Who's the console? These texts alone are not enough to end the elven war, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Right? Why would anyone do that? Many prefer violence than to be challenged by the truth. That's the truth of it, man. You got that right, Kratos. Forgotten Tower treasure map. Where might you be, my pretty? There are those who built this tower who gave everything they had to complete it. And where did it put them? In the ground. I was almost one of them. Never again. I leave this treasure in the hopes that whoever needs it may find it, and in so doing is reminded of their own worth. No tower, no matter how great, is worth one's life. So... It looks like it's got to be somewhere in Alfheim, but I really have not a clue where. We'll just keep an eye out for towers. <laughs> the nice thing about the treasure maps in this game is that when you get actually close to the location of them, they just kind of mark the spot with a big garish light that I don't think they did in the first game. So you don't have to find like the exact spot. You just have to be in the vicinity and you'll find it. <laughs> Looks like the ancient elves wrote a lot and none of the light or dark elves have seen any of it. Seems like stuff they'd want to read. The Arbiters of Knowledge. We are the caretakers of truth, the Arbiters of Knowledge, protectors of this repository of enlightenment that stretches back to our earliest writings, ancient as the sands. It is our sacred duty to protect our elven learnings and prevent the possible spread of it to those who cannot reconcile the wisdom found within these walls. The benighted masses cannot be trusted, cannot be expected to assimilate these truths. They lack the intellectual fortitude to absorb and accept the divisive nature of certain revelations. This suppression is not cruelty, nor is it an attempt at control. It is mercy, pure and simple. Never forget that. You keep telling yourself that, buddy. Typically, the restriction of knowledge is, you know, saved for things like black magic or, you know, hate speech. Not something that's supposedly so great and amazing. Yeah, 
you know, historically speaking, civilizations that try to restrict all knowledge, not so great historically. Oh, amulet fragment. That actually kind of cheeses me off, and I could have had this a long time ago. <laughs> but no matter. Console's journal artifact. This book is sealed, but there is an inscription. The console. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. All right, is this actually what we came for? Atreus was like really hyper fixated on that statue. I guess he was just admiring it. Well, that's good. Because our next stop in the main story is going to be Vanaheim, so we can drop that off on our way back. All right, off we go then. Here's the librarian would like a word. Oh, yeah? Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a word is what she's looking for. Nasty, hey. Oh, shit. All right, brother. <laughs> Gravy. You gotta be kidding me with that. I was just trying to do my restore shield thing and. Wow! Okay, that didn't work either. Are you kidding me? Stop dodging my runic attacks! And then dealing damage to me afterwards. <laughs> God damn it. I hate that so much. If they're gonna make enemies have like do that so frequently, they need to give you a way to cancel the animation. Because I can't predict what they're gonna do all the time. Shield strike. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Oh, I felt that one, brother. Okay, that doesn't work so great on that either. I wonder if it's possible for that to miss. There we go. Finally. Oh. You know what? I think I interrupted an unblockable attack with that, though. That's pretty sweet. Come to think of it. Yeah. So the thing I don't like about that... Fuck. Is that... It really doesn't restore a whole lot of health at all. And I had kind of become reliant on that. It kind of makes me miss the old rage just a little bit. I tried to do it. I'm so pissed off. I swear on my life. I, I double tapped L1. I swear to God I did. God damn it. Ah, oh, that fight should have been over right there. I don't know why it didn't work. I'm not using my goddamn resurrection stone on that, though. I'll tell you that much. Use a shield strike. Fuck you. You're pissing me off. I'll live. But she won't. Okay, 
Okay, when that actually works, that's really good. Like, closing the distance like that. Problem is... It doesn't always work. At least from what I've experienced so far. Thank you for actually doing the shield strike. Very cool of you. All right. No. He's using the light to heal herself. All right. Killer. She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. Wow. We're not going to kill her. I mean, bully for her, I guess, but... <laughs> I'm very shocked about that. Okay. I guess you can live. Gotta admit, didn't think it was gonna end that way. Me either. Last we traveled here, when the Dark Elf King attacked us, the ramifications were dire for his people. Not make the same mistake twice. Fair enough. I wonder if that's different because we're here with Atreus. Like, if you come here with Freya, do you still kill her? Huh. The vigilant steward of an Alfheim library, our valley, our alley. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me right now, guys. That that fight pissed me off so much. Just because the controller failed me. That's uh, I know as a Let's Player, you sound like an asshole saying that. But it's just the truth. I'm sorry. Okay. Our ally in Vanaheim Bigvir told me this steward comes from a long line of elves who follow the same path. Librarians. A library exists to hold and share knowledge. To hide this way and claim it would destroy the light elves from within is to lack faith in the people who would most benefit from it. Yeah, I get it. Okay, that's good. So we've got that cleared up. Now we gotta figure out how to get underground to help this other half goofa. Because I do believe that's how we clear up the storm. And I'm just trying to get this barrel. Uh, now I've lost track of where it is. All right, never mind. We're not getting that barrel. Oh, could this be it? Where is this? No, this is the way out. We don't want to do that. Is this another Berserker Gravestone? Son of a bitch, there's two of them here. Song of the Sands. Ooh, yeah, let's track that. Why didn't I see that in the, the favor list before? Uh, whatever. And we've got a portal marked up there too. Okay, good. Oh, this won't take us directly to it, but we'll confirm there. this is the area. Got it. Thank you. What is that stuff? Oh, it's lizards. Wasn't sure before, but I'm glad we're doing this. The sandstorm just feels wrong for Alpha. Aye, hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. <sighs> now, once we free this other half, Goofa, it'll be a duet. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it will be beautiful.
these symbols right here give me pause what is this place it doesn't look like a dark elf cave an abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it built long before the light wells creation more hive matter as well i'd say we're on the right track then okay that's good we have two different tracks here i suspect this is the way to go so let's go back and go this way wow it's okay i was gonna say it's very dark here it's actually just a massive door maybe that's where we come out of but no that looks like a place we would come down from WTF. Okay, let's just go this way and see what happens. Oh, hold on a sec. I almost missed that. Wee bit of a shortcut there. It doesn't actually lead over that way, though. I sure could use a realm door right about now. Stupid maven fight kicked my ass. What the hell is that? Some of this high stuff doesn't like that. That's kind of gross, but okay. We can handle that. 